Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of July the 29th through to August the 4th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have the Seven of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Hermit upright. Next, we have the Four of Cups reversed, followed then by the Four of Pentacles reversed. And lastly, we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright. Lots of Pentacles here. Could be dealing with matters of finance and stability. The Seven of Pentacles in the upright position is the reevaluation energy. This is something where you're really trying to figure things out. It could be <clears throat> anything to do with the st uh, stability matters, such as home, um, work, finances, that kind of stuff. So some of you could be reevaluating even where you live. You could have lived in the same place for seven months, seven years, what have you, and you're just reevaluating, is this still the proper place for me to be laying is it still um laying <laughs> yeah laying your head <laughs> is this still the the proper place for me to keep investing in um others of you this could be a financial situation that you're looking at and going you know the the uh the, the what i've been doing to make my money has been sufficient uh up until now but will it continue to be sufficient as time goes on a lot of people are asking that question due to the fact that the economy is what it is now so um, you know our dollars don't go as far as they used to so it could be something like that for some of you for others of you this could be um, taking a close look at your portfolio portfolio and your investments and saying can i should i maybe move some things around maybe i should just <clears throat> start looking at different kinds of investment and diversify and things like that um, yeah others of you are just <clears throat> basically looking at your long-term stability and taking a close look now I think that's always a good thing to do <coughs> excuse me because reevaluation is really important not only to reevaluate our home and our business and things like that but and our finances, but also reevaluating in anything we invest in could be a relationship or something like that. And we're just going, you know, I've been doing this for a long time and I don't know, it has bared fruit in the past, just don't know if it's still a good idea to continue investing in. Nobody's doing anything at this point, you're just looking into it. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Hermit. Virgo energy. This is your energy, Virgo. Now, what this is is uh, basically enticing you to do, Virgo, is to go within. To make sure that... Um, I think it has a lot to do with this reevaluation energy here. Some of you are looking into something. Could be looking into investments. Could be looking into property. But you're really, really studying it hard. And you should be. Because if you're in reevaluation mode and you're actually ready to start doing something about things you really need to investigate and i think that virgos really need to feel comfortable before they um they jump into anything virgos are not comfortable jumping into ifs ands or buts whatever's no virgo needs to know what they're getting involved in so this is you at the beginning of the week doing your research it looks like you're really really looking into it now it could be looking into other jobs other like i said other investments for your portfolio it could be looking into property whatever it is you're looking into you're really really putting a lot of uh time and effort into it as a virgo does right you guys are very stable uh, people you don't you know change your mind on a dime like that if you do it's because you've already been thinking along those lines anyway but <clears throat> on the whole if something new is presented or a new problem or situation is presented to virgo they tend to really really um, examine it so it looks like you could be examining something or some of you could be studying as well legit reason to be in the hermit mode oftentimes it comes up for students who are studying for exams and things like that so that could be what's going on for some of you next card up is the four of cups in the reverse position 
Interesting. The Four of Cups in the upright position. This points to that emotional apathy. Oh, hum, don't bother me. Universe, you're trying to engage me in something emotional. Not interested because I'm busy focusing in on other things. Maybe practical matters for some of you. Could be health matters. Could be... Um, I'm just not interested because my focus is elsewhere. But when the card is inverted, this is coming out of that emotional apathy. Something is jump-starting your emotions. This points back to the Three of Cups in the upright position, which indicates a social, a socializing of some, some note. It's not usually representative of a huge party. That would be more the Ten of Cups. But this is about maybe getting together with a small group of people this could be your closest friends allies this could be um just you know representing three of cups can represent anything from a bon voyage trip with the the, the your closest friend it could be celebrating someone's engagement it could be um any type of social get together, but it's usually a small intimate group and there something happens and it sort of jump starts your emotions again. You could run into somebody there that piques your interest emotionally. You could be um, <clears throat> perhaps reuniting with somebody that you haven't reunited with in quite some time. And again, it's a small social gathering, but it makes you feel good, whatever is going on here. Moving on towards the weekend, four of pentacles, you have two fours here. So you are in the middle of something here, Virgo, it looks like, um, uh, in numerology, I'm just thinking, you know, fours and fives is when we're in the middle of something, <clears throat> the middle of our journey in some aspect. So the Four of Pentacles in the Upright, this is my little hoarder card, I always say, go and have a garage sale if you're hoarding things, don't do that. When the card is inverted, maybe some of you did have a garage sale, this is releasing some of that. Others of you are releasing a payment, maybe you finally paid off your car. See, you're reevaluating some things along the, the Pentacle lines, right? So it could be some of you have moved some money around or, or cashed out some investment to be able to pay something off. Could be a loan, could be a credit card, could be your, um, yeah, it could be your car, could be anything, your house, what have you. And you're deciding to um, release yourself from these monthly payments. So that's really good news as well as sometimes the Four of Pentacles in the upright can be holding on to old values that don't serve us anymore. This could be the release of those old values that we're just saying no to. We're just not gonna go along those lines anymore. Last card you have is the Two of Pentacles, Harmony in the Midst of Change. Something is changing up here. Could be on the, the financial front, could be on your work front or something like that. Where this is a Harmony in the Midst of Change. Good news for those of you who are um, starting something new. Maybe you're going from one job to an, the next. This could be that smooth transition for others of you. This could be balancing your checkbook. This could be balancing your finances, uh, shifting some things around financially and making it click and work. Um, others of you, you could be starting up a, a side hustle. Maybe that was the reevaluation thing here. And if that's the case, you're going to be able to pull it off very easily. If you're doing something extra on the side to make some extra money, it will be a smooth, uh, smooth move. Really good news for those of you who are in the midst of a move because the Two of Pentacles can indicate a smooth move. Um, so you're a smooth operator anyway, <laughs> Virgo. So let us know in the comment section below if this resonates for you and do tell us how so. Now in closing, I will be pulling a card from the Wisdom Oracle deck see what we have going on here for Virgo. We have uh, number 17, the fates. Hmm, interesting. Maybe the fates are prom prompting you to do something in terms of that reevaluation, maybe to do something with it. So that's what I have for you. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week. Virgo, thank you so much for joining me. And I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, subscribership is free. And if you do that, I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.